Today we will answer the question, is this project green and sustainable? You know, it would be really easy for me to just say, oh yeah, it's environmentally responsible and sustainable, but the thing is, these are just buzzwords that don't really mean anything. I buzzwords. Mean, what is the definition of sustainability? Some people might think that a home would have to have gray water recycling mm. in order to be construed as sustainable. And if it doesn't, then it's not sustainable. So really, where are those definitions and where are those words and those terms really falling in terms of definition? We don't really know what any of them mean. So, I will say that the intention is to blend in with the environment as much as possible mm -hmm. and to have a minimal impact upon the landscape. I know you were looking, when you're trying to decide where you want to put your home, you're looking at where can you do the least amount of damage, pull up the fewest amount of shrubs. Exactly. I mean, it's really important to me to have this continue to be natural and pristine and to not kind of invade too much. Now, obviously, you have to to some degree if you're going to build a house, but I want to try to keep the impact to a definite minimum. Sustainability is an ambiguous term at best. We can say this project is intended to be environmentally responsible and is being created to showcase technological innovations to sustain life in a heretofore inhospitable <laughs> terrain of the great American frontier. Now, I am not interested in simply promoting an agenda of meaningless jargon. Sustainable development, while maintaining equilibrium with the surrounding environment, building economically responsible and humble dwellings, and taking into consideration a courtesy towards the greater social good, are three philosophies future generations must live by. And in that way, the purpose of Galatea Meridian is definitely intended to pioneer this philosophy and inspire people to dream of a more harmonious world. Mm -hmm. Now I will tell you that the project will use solar energy for electricity because it's the most practical and economically sensible way to generate power in an isolated area of the desert. If it can be legally permitted, there will be gray water recycling because it's not logical to waste a commodity as precious as water in the desert. Right. Composting toilets will be used to eliminate the creation of black water because it will put the least possible strain on the legally required septic system. Plus, eliminating black water could theoretically mean the septic system will never require cleaning. True. Now, ideally, rainwater harvesting will be used in conjunction with an atmospheric water generator in order to augment a groundwater well. If a well can't be drilled, those technologies will be used to augment water hauling, which must be done in order to comply with legal requirements for a water source. So in the end, this project will have a minimal impact on the surrounding environment. But that minimal impact is not motivated by conforming to trendy buzzwords. Preserving the gorgeous natural landscape is being done because I seek to prove that technology, which has traditionally and undeniably been harmful to the natural world, can be used responsibly to allow human beings to live in harmony with the pristine enclaves of the wilderness. My brother-in-law, the park ranger, would love you. <laughs> now, another thing that I think is really important when you're talking about being green and sustainable is the fact that I do want the house to be LEED certified. LEED stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design and is a green building certification program that recognizes best-in-class building strategies and practices. As a result of the LEED endorsement, the home will be certified to be globally recognized as an innovative, sustainable development. Lutherville is an educational series inspiring kids and adults to become excited about innovations in science and technology by documenting the design and construction of a Mojave Desert homestead called Galatea Meridian. Witness the crazy story of how Eric Muss Barnes, an unemployed computer geek and struggling novelist, risks homelessness by spending most of his life savings to build an off-grid dream house in the middle of nowhere. 
Having purchased vast acres of the Old West, can Eric find a stable job and create his home before his money runs out? Take a journey where fortitude and a pioneering spirit continue to forge the American dream on the romantic landscape of the American frontier. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Lutherville. Please make sure to sub... Nope. Not subscribe. <laughs> Share with your friends. You can do that too. All right. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Lutherville. Please make sure to subscribe and share this video with your friends and family. And remember, if your ambitions don't scare you, then they're not big enough.